and welcome everyone. So today's video is all about 60s and 70s glasses, sunglasses and eyeglasses in general. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of glasses and the most popular styles of the 60s and 70s. And I'm also gonna show you every single pair of glasses and sunglasses that I own. And I'm just looking at them laying in front of me and I definitely have a lot of sunglasses. I love to accessorize with them and just play with them. So let's get right into this video and let me start by telling you a little bit about the history of glasses and sunglasses. So starting in the early 50s, glasses and sunglasses weren't only a practical thing anymore, but they were also starting to become a fashion statement. Colors like green, blue, pink, purple and red were suddenly seen on faces everywhere around the world. And that was mainly due to the fact that during the 50s and 60s, plastic became a really popular material. And all of a sudden, it wasn't only possible to make it different styles of glasses, but making them also got a lot more affordable. Prior to the late 50s and early 60s, glasses were mainly made out of metal. So they were pretty much limited to a silver or gold color. And so with the introduction of plastic in the 1950s, a new era of glasses was born. During the 1960s, eyeglasses were so popular that people even got them with bland lenses. So basically they just got a sort of glass that didn't have any prescription and that was the first time that glasses were considered fashionable. And before that, glasses were rather seen as a medical device. So during the 60s, the idea of matching your glasses to your outfits and kind of playing with different styles, shape and colors was finally born. And it was first seen in women's fashion of the late 50s and early 60s. And going on from them, the 60s and 70s were all about different glasses. The 60s were a little more about interesting shapes, while the 70s were all about tainted glasses. So let's get right into it. Let me show you some popular styles of 60s and 70s glasses and the ones that I own. So let's just start with the pair that I'm wearing right now. I have these gorgeous cat eye glasses. They're from Tyne. They were kind enough to not only sponsor this video, but provide me with some new prescription glasses. I actually have terrible vision. And they let me choose two of their wonderful designs. And the first pair that I went with are these wonderful cat eye glasses. They also make very environmentally friendly glasses. I'm gonna have everything about them linked down below. Pretty much all of my other glasses are vintage, but I just wanted to start with these and show you them because these are just just the glasses that I pretty much wear on the daily. I honestly love the cat eye shape. Cat eye shapes first got popular in the 50s as seen on Audrey Hepburn and people really really love them. I think they're really elegant and timeless. The tying glasses also come in these gorgeous little containers. They're so cute. I love the velvet and they just kind of go in there like that and if you want to take them with your traveling you can even like fold in the sides and then it's just plain flat and really easy to bring. I love them. I think as said they're so timeless and gorgeous and I'm really really glad that I got to work with them. The other pair of glasses that I got from them are a rather popular late 60s and 70s style. They're basically square glasses. Square glasses or butterfly glasses got really popular during the late 60s and all throughout the 70s. I honestly love them so much. I kind of like that these are a little more simple and the frame isn't that thick, but they still have that gorgeous big glass look that I really, really love. So let's move on to some sunglasses. This one is probably my favorite pair of sunglasses. They always remind me of that one photo shoot of Patty Boyd and George Harrison. I think these are like the epitome of 60s style. I love the smaller squared shades. As said, this was really popular first seen on the Beatles, but then just got popular overall. And I love that these are really unisex. I honestly do truly love that. I think I got them either at a thrift store or on eBay, but I'm pretty sure I got them at a thrift store. And I love the little detailing around the sides. I think these are just such gorgeous and timeless sunglasses. And I truly love to wear sunglasses, not only during the summer but basically as soon as it is sunny outside so I thought that this was the perfect video to sort of start off the spring. Let's move on with another style of glasses that was really popular especially during the late 60s and 70s and that's butterfly sunglasses. I have these ones that I got at a vintage market in Berlin. I love them. The blue color, the tainted lenses, the way that they're shaped is so gorgeous. Butterfly sunglasses are basically a little smaller up here and then they go out a little wider at the bottom and I honestly love that look. These are so gorgeous. They just say Chrism Canaria and they are rodent stocks from the late 60s. They're so, so gorgeous and unique and they're also really, really high quality. I've brought them on so many trips with me. I pretty much wear them every other day, I'd say, and they are still in great condition. So these are a true staple piece of my wardrobe. Speaking of butterfly sunglasses, I got these sent to me by the Hippie Shake and I love them. I feel like they truly bring back 
this like late 60s psychedelic look. They even have the butterfly style on the glasses themselves and I love how they're like tinted blue at the top and then pink at the bottom. I think they're great for all sorts of 60s and 70s looks and I honestly love them. So to be honest, my first idea was to kind of sort it by shapes, but now I'm just kind of going through it and tell you everything about the glasses because I kind of feel like it gets a little boring if I go by category. Let's move on with these gorgeous space age inspired specs. So during the 60s, all sort of interesting shapes became really popular and these sort of triangular ones were a really popular style in the 60s. I think I got these on eBay, but I'm not quite sure. The glass is a little more bluish rather than black and I think they're so cool not only for a space age look but also for a classic mod look. Sometimes when you get vintage sunglasses and I'm just gonna show you this on these ones, they are a little hard to bend and they kind of make this sound. But don't worry, you can always adjust the screws or just add a little bit of oil to them and they will go a lot easier again. Let's move on with one of the most classic shapes of 60s glasses. And I feel like whenever people talk about 60s sunglasses and glasses in general, they think about those round John Lennon style glasses. And I actually have a pair these, I got them on eBay. I love the tinted red. Honestly, they're so nice to wear outside. They just taint everything red and paint the town red for me, which I truly love. I also think it is such a fun look. Maybe you can kind of... That's actually pretty good. So that's like your view with these. And I honestly really, really love them. As said, tainted glasses became a big trend in the 60s. So red was also a really, really popular color. And I just truly love them. I also feel like these look so cool, kind of propped up on your face. They're also great for a Woodstock look. And I honestly just love to play around with these. Another popular style of 60s sunglasses were these. These were a little more popular with men than they were with women. But I honestly feel like sunglasses are a pretty unisex thing. And I honestly truly do believe that you should wear whatever makes you feel the best. So even though I got them at a men's section in a thrift store, I don't mind at all. I kind of like that they're a little big on me. I feel like they look really cool. One more tip I have for you when you buy vintage sunglasses. A lot of the times the part back here doesn't really fit you. So in this case, they are like a little loose. Whereas glasses that fit you properly, like these ones do, they don't really move on my face that much. So one thing you can do with these is either do it at home, but you have to be extremely careful. You can just kind of use a hair dryer or something to heat them up a little and then carefully bend them down. I honestly do prefer boiling some water on my stove and then just like being very careful and like bending them down the slightest bit but you can also go to any sort of glasses store and they will usually do that for you. They have these machines that heat up the ends and then they can fit you for your glasses. A lot of the times, if you just ask them nicely, they will do that for you. So as said earlier, I truly love 60s and 70s sunglasses that are squared or butterfly shaped. And I also have these, which I love to wear. They kind of give me that 70s model of duty look. They also remind me a lot of Jane Birkin and I think they're so gorgeous. They are also tinted darker up top and then a little lighter down here. And I honestly, truly, truly love them. They say Piav made in Italy. I looked it up and I believe they're either from 1969 or 1972. These are the two years that come up in my head. I looked it up when I got them and I honestly think that they're so, so gorgeous and unique. And a couple of weeks ago, I went to a museum and I actually brought them and I was so upset because one of the little handles fell off but I kept looking for the screw and I found it on the ground and I just screwed them back together and now they're as good as new. And if you ever lose a screw, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically these like tiny screws in there, if you ever lose one of these, don't get upset. You can definitely, definitely get a new one. Just go into any like glasses store. They will give you a new one and you can just use your glasses again. Let's move on with these, which are actually my prescription glasses from back at school. I think they're so cute and timeless. They have this like really classic 60s look to them. I loved them back then. I think they go well with a lot of 60s and 70s style. I think I just got them at a local store in my city. So they're not vintage or anything, but they kind of have this like really classic look to them. And I honestly think they are really, really cool. Unfortunately, I cannot really wear them anymore because they're the wrong prescription, but they are better than not wearing any glasses for me. So if you have prescription glasses, you know that sometimes your lenses change, but 
these are still really cool and I honestly like to wear them because I think they're just really cute. Moving on with these. So these are from the late 60s or early 70s. Probably I got them at a vintage store as well. And what I really like about these is that they kind of bring back that classic 50s cat eye, but they kind of make them a little more modern and a little more 60s and 70s. As said, especially during the 70s, tinted lenses like this got extremely popular and I think they are so, so gorgeous. I honestly love the like little metal and how they have that like a little extra metal frame up here. I think it is a really, really gorgeous and timeless look. These also remind me a lot of Sharon Tate. I feel like this is something she would have worn and I honestly feel like they go well with a lot of looks. Speaking of cat eye glasses, I obviously have a pair of classic 60s or late 50s cat eye glasses. I love them. I love that they're like a little thicker up here. I got them at a thrift store. They were really inexpensive and I really, really like them. I think they're great for beatnik looks and also as said, just a late 50s look and I just honestly love to wear them. I love the shape up here. I think cat eye glasses are so unique and timeless and I honestly like that these are just plain black because as you saw I have a lot of really like busy glasses with a lot of detailing so sometimes it's just nice to have a black staple. Starting in the late 50s, aviator sunglasses became extremely popular. I don't have classic aviators because I don't really love them to be honest, but I have these from the 70s. I'm sorry if they like seem a little dirty. I swear they're not. I just feel like the glass has turned a little milky over the years and they also broke up here, but I don't really mind. I already bought them in this condition and I feel like they were only like one or two bucks. They were really, really inexpensive. And I just like that they kind of have that like classic aviator top right here, but then with like the colors and everything, they're just a lot more unique and gorgeous. Moving on with the classic 60s googly round sunglasses, these one. I know a lot of people think of Kurt Cobain when they see these glasses and I get it, he was really popular for wearing these, but they actually origin in the 60s. So as said, in the 60s plastic got really affordable and people just like to use plastic for glasses. It was something really new and especially like the mods and the 60s London style. A lot about the really thick and gorgeous frames and I honestly love these. I think they're so cool and timeless. I honestly love that they like add that pop of color. So these are one of my oldest pair of sunglasses, not vintage old but like old in the way that I had them for such a long time. I honestly probably had them for 10 years by now. These are not vintage and they have like a really funny tint. And I honestly love the round shape, but I don't really love the glasses. However, they're like a little sentimental to me because I feel like the first time that I really got into 60s or 70s clothing, I was like 12 or 13. I was really into the hippie look. And back then I got these glasses and they just truly mean a lot to me. And I honestly think they are still kind of cute. I just have to be honest with you and tell you that I don't wear them that often anymore because I feel like they don't really have the authentic look. However, they're sentimental to me and I feel like there are some days where I really, really want to wear them. So I'm glad that I still keep them. Speaking of aviators and classic round sunglasses, I also have these which are kind of on the verge between those two. I feel like they also remind me a lot of the classic John Lennon glasses. These are actually by Teen 2 and I got them last year when I did a collab with them. I love them. I think they're cool. They're really timeless. These are also the glasses that my friends, when they're over, tend to gravitate towards the most. When they like come over and we want to go outside, they kind of really gravitate towards these. And I honestly get it, because most of my friends don't really love to wear 60s and 70s clothes. So I feel like these are really timeless and good for like a modern day look as well. But as said, I like them for the way that they kind of make me look a little like John Lennon, or they at least bring back that feeling. Speaking of classic round John Lennon sunglasses, I also have these which truly have that classic round look. I honestly like that they have that like thicker black frame. I feel like as said, that's a really classic 60s look and I feel like they look really cool. I bought them at a market in Indonesia while traveling. So these also hold a lot of memory for me and I honestly really, really like them. And these are really cheaply made and so you can actually like bend them yourself back here. But as said, be careful when you do that because you can break them and when they're like really old, they're also a lot more porous. So just be careful when you like break them or you wanna shape them differently. Be careful and like do it really gently. 
Let's move on with the classic 60s and 70s airport sunglasses. I feel like these are the sunglasses every celebrity, especially like women in the 60s and 70s wore at the airport. They kind of have that like incognito look. I got them at a thrift store as well. They're really timeless and big. I love that they're a little see-through up here. And then this is just like what they're tinted like. I kind of hope you can get an idea of like the different tints, but I feel like this one is really accurate. So yeah, as said, these are also perfect for like a Sharon Tate look. Marian Faithful also had glasses like these. Anita Pellenberg, Patty Boyd even in the 70s. So I feel like these are truly timeless and perfect for this like airport off-duty travel look. I know I have a lot of glasses and I just want to say that you don't need a lot of clothes and pieces overall to dress vintage. I get the question a lot and I get the question asked a lot how long it took me to like build the entire collection of clothes and accessories and 60s and 70s pieces that I have. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it took me a couple of years. So if you're just starting out, don't feel like you have to have all of these things. Pick like one or two styles of sunglasses that you really love. I'm also gonna be honest with you. I am not rich by any means, so as said, it took me a while to bring together this collection, but I just wanna say that dressing vintage is affordable to anyone. Make sure to just go to your local thrift stores kind of be a little more open-minded and dig for these things because most of the pieces that I have were really inexpensive. It just took me a while to build the collection. So let's move on with a little bit more of a unique style of late 60s sunglasses. I have these, which I love. I love the little shape as said. Geometrical shapes were really popular in the late 60s and especially George Harrison and the Beatles wore a lot of really cool, funky shaped sunglasses. I love these. I think they're really, really cute and unique. And yeah, there isn't really a lot to say about these. There's just like a classic metal frame and then these really uniquely shaped glasses. Let's move on with another pair of eyeglasses. I also got these by Tane last year when I did a collab with them. These are blue light glasses. I work a lot on the computer, so that's always helpful. They also have that like really cool 70s square look. I love them. I think they're really classic and like kind of timeless. I think they're called Saskia on their website. I'm not 100% sure though, but I'm gonna have everything linked down below. So if you're interested in them, you can probably still get them. I really like them. I think blue light glasses are great if you do a lot of work on the computer. And I kind of like that these are a cool 60s and 70s style accessory for something so modern as a computer. I also got these in Indonesia, I believe. These are fake glasses, they don't have any prescription or anything, but I really like the shape. I feel like they also have a really classic 60s look and I honestly think they're extremely cute. They say RB Space, so I feel like these are off-brand Ray-Bans, but I'm not too sure to be honest. I just really like the look. I don't really care for brands, you already know that, but yeah, I just really like them. I think they're cute. There are two more glasses left. Let's first do the prescription glasses and then end it with another pair of sunglasses. I have this gorgeous little case. I love this one. This is from the 60s and I think it is so cute. It kind of like snaps open right here and then you can just put your glasses in. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you've definitely seen me wear these because before I got those new prescription glasses last week, these used to be my prescription glasses. And I feel like when people see these, they don't immediately think of the 60s and 70s, but these were actually a popular style during the 60s. As said, people were either going for like thick plastic frames or golden dainty frames in interesting geometrical shapes. And I feel like these glasses pretty much sum up the interesting shape style and I like them. I honestly really, really love them. I honestly feel like these are so versatile. I also like how they look when I kind of like put my hair up or just style it a little differently. But as said, these have been my regular glasses for years now and I am happy that I have new ones because these don't have the right prescription anymore but I also always enjoyed wearing these. And last but not least, let's end with a pair of 70s sunglasses. These are also really unisex. They have that bigger square look. They are a little bit wider than they are tall, but I don't really mind that. I feel like it's actually a really cool look. I really like them. They remind me a lot of Marian Faithful. You've maybe seen that photo shoot she did where she kind of wears that like biker all leather look. I feel like these would go really well with that. During the summer, I actually really like to go for a style that I like to call late 60s, early 70s hitchhiker. So basically 
basically I just wear like some jean shorts, a classic tee, and then these sunglasses. I feel like it works really well. I also really love to wear that with cowboy boots, which is another staple in my closet. I feel like I also got these either at a thrift store or on eBay. However, they were probably really inexpensive. And these are also like a great unisex style. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel, and it would truly mean the world. I didn't really talk about this earlier, but you might have noticed that my hair color changed a little bit. As said earlier in this video, I am not rich, I don't really have like a ton of money, so my hair used to be colored by a friend of mine, but then I moved away and I started going to the hairdresser and it was like a hundred bucks every month. I'm not gonna do that anymore, I'm just gonna be honest with you, it's a lot of money, it sums up and I don't have like a ton of money, so I did this myself. You can comment down below how you like the color, it turned out a little darker, but I honestly really like it, so I think this is like going to be the new color that I'm gonna stick with, but as said, leave a comment down below, tell me if you like it or if you kind of like the lighter version a bit better. Also leave a comment down below telling me which sunglass style is your favorite and maybe I missed some styles that you have. One of the styles that I'm definitely still looking for and that I haven't found yet are these sort of sunglasses that only have a frame in the front and then they kind of have chains down the side. I feel like these were so unique and popular in the 60s that they are really hard to find. I'm gonna put up pictures right here if you have no idea what I'm talking about because I feel like this wasn't like the best description. So yeah, please leave a comment down below telling me which sunglass styles are your favorite. And if you have favorite sunglasses or sunglasses in general you want me to see, make sure to tag me. I'm at Emma Rosa Katarina on Instagram, on TikTok, on Pinterest. Just tag me, I would love to see them and tell you how gorgeous you look. If you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, like the makeup, the fashion, the people, the pop culture and everything else, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week all about that and I would love to have you around. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye everyone!